We're just out driving around here, uh, just outside of Salzburg this morning on our way up to uh, Berchtesgarten. And we drove through this little village. We're just looking for small, local, you know, kind of like back roads, behind the scenes, places to shoot. Not necessarily anything we've read about or heard about on any of the maps or anything. It's just, just you know, typical stuff that you run into. And we found this maypole, and I wouldn't have recognized it as a maypole if my wife hadn't pointed it out. Um, it's all hand carved. The thing looks like it's about 100 feet high, just here in the main uh, main court of the city. And I, I want to get a shot of some of the detail of the bottom part of this uh, maypole. Um, but the problem is the sun is directly over there. The maypole is there. I'm shooting down here, so I'm getting a huge reflection on the uh, wood carving and the painting. So this is another use of a polarizing filter that uh, you might not know about it. it not, not only will it darken the blue sky or get rid of reflections off of water, but I use it all the time for foliage, uh, increasing the saturation in foliage, getting rid of reflections off of leaves when I'm shooting fall color or just any, any leaf. Uh, and right here, I mean this is a perfect situation for that. I wanted to frame it up. The sky is pretty much off to my left. I could shoot it front lit, but then I just got this blue sky. I came over here where it's where it's kind of side top lit, but it's glary, and I'm getting these really great cumulus clouds with the blue sky behind it. So this is a much better backdrop. Problem is we got the reflections. So all I have to do is just simply meter it, rotate this polarizing filter in the front of the camera here until the reflections are gone, and then just take the shot. And the, what I'm using here is very convenient. It's a, a screw in. 105 millimeter round polarizer that's a linear polarizer. I'm sorry, it's a circular polarizer. Um, and it stays inside this wide angle shade, so I can use anything from my 10 to 24 zoom lens all the way up. I've got here now, I've got a 70 to 210. Or the, what is this? <laughs> it's a 70 to 200 millimeter lens on here now. So this, this will cover me with any focal length that I, that I want to use without having to change uh, filters or, or lens shades anywhere along the way. And this, this lens shade here is a compendium, it just slides in and out. So for the shot here, I've got to have the filter all the way out because there's a good chance I'll get some uh, lens flare. But it works perfect. And just a slight twist, just a slight twist of that polarizer and I can see the reflections are just gone. The clouds look a little bit whiter, the sky looks a little bluer. But man, what a huge difference this makes. Perfect. Great travel shot. Normally I don't do a lot of shooting in the middle of the day because it's so sunny and bright, but uh, when you're driving around and you find something like this, it's great. We're gonna be uh, heading up in the mountains and getting some late afternoon shots, but this is, this is a great little, uh, kind of a typical touristy travel shot, so. Pays to be prepared.